I have a confession to make. I didn't even try to sell Avon online on social media or on my blog for three months. And my business still brought in almost $90,000 in sales. Tell me in the comments, how much time every day do you spend posting on social media about your business? And does it make you happy? I didn't post a single thing about my business on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or anywhere. And I didn't take the time to make videos for YouTube. Instead, I lived life. I enjoyed the summer with my kiddos. Selling Avon on social media can be such a rat race, and it is exhausting to me to try to come up with content every single day, post it, come up with captions, and answer comments. So today, I'm gonna to tell you what I did instead of selling Avon online on social media all summer, and how you can set yourself up to do this too by next summer. Stay tuned. My name is Jennifer Francis, and I am a nationally ranked number one leader and top seller with Avon and the founder of TimelessBeautyLife.com. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and connect with me over on social media. You'll find the links to connect with me down in the description box below. Are you an Avon representative looking for help with your Avon business? You should join Timeless Beauty Lessons, our amazing Facebook group just for Avon representatives. It's led by some of the top leaders in the entire nation. You'll find the link to join down in the description box below. So I want to give you some stats about what happened with my business this summer. When I stopped trying to sell Avon online on social media. My business brought in almost $90,000 and my personal sales were close to $5,000 during that time. My, my sales team grew by 140 people. There are so many who have had a ton of success selling Avon on social media and I do believe it should be one of the components of your business but I don't believe it should be the only way that you sell Avon if you wanna be successful in a big way. And here's why I don't value selling Avon online on social media as much as I do other platforms. Number one, you don't own your contacts or your content. There are so many people posting right now that their Facebook business page was canceled or closed for whatever reason. And that was their sole means of advertising their business, and now they're lost. Number two, you're at the mercy of the platform's algorithms. Listen, I don't feel like spending all day long analyzing the new algorithm update a day after I just figured out the last one. Besides, why am I giving all of my traffic to somebody else's platform when I could be using that platform to drive traffic to my own platform? Number three, you spend literally hours making content that has, at best, a 24-hour shelf life. It appears one time in people's feeds if you're lucky, and if they don't buy right now from that post, they're not coming back to that post to buy it. So instead of spending all of my time trying to sell Avon online using only social media, here's what I recommend doing instead. Contact info, contact info, contact info. So just because I didn't post on social media for three months doesn't mean that I wasn't working my business. This business doesn't work if you don't work. But my major focus for those three months wasn't posting on social media. It was collecting contact information and expanding my network. Every person that you come in contact with could be a potential customer or recruit in the future. When I say I collect contact info, I don't ask people for their phone number and then spam them my link until they block me. What I do is I make new friends. And if it's right, or if it comes up in conversation, I might make a recommendation about something that they might like that I offer. Contact info is always king and should always be your main priority over posting on social media. But if you're going to post, make sure your post is geared toward collecting 
contact information. With Avon, that contact information can help you automate your business because when you enter it into your address book, Avon will market to people on your behalf and that allows you to do things like take three months off in the summer. Also, when a customer's email address appears in your address book, it automatically attaches that customer to you. So that means when they go to shop on avon.com and log in, it doesn't matter if they clicked on a link somewhere, you are still gonna appear as their representative. I recommend building a blog so that you own your platform and don't worry. It's not as hard as it seems. The number one thing that you have to do when you're going to build a blog is write. So many people get worried about how the blog looks and coding it and making everything look perfect, but coding and colors don't make you money. Your content does. So open a self-hosted blog now and it's possible you could be ranking it by next summer and it could be collecting contact information for you on autopilot. A blog is different because so, uh, than social media because when you operate on a self-hosted blog, you own the platform. And if you use your blog to collect contact information, which you also own, you have an alternative way to send your messages out without posting on social media. And it's more personal. I've also had great success off of social media with my own email program. I use SendFox and a text program called Project Broadcast. I also use a messenger bot called ManyChat. This allows me to communicate with my contacts in mass with information I own. And I can schedule exactly when my message is seen and sent. So you can still sell Avon online successfully, even if you don't post on social media every day, if you are generating and gathering contact information every single day. My goal has increased. It used to be I wanted to collect two pieces of contact information every single day, seven days a week. I now am able to collect up to 10 email addresses and phone numbers every single day with the, with the way that I have automated my business online. Sometimes posting on social media, but most of the time not even posting on social media. So if you're not a big social media person, I hope this has been helpful to you to show you how you can still grow your Avon business online, even if you're not posting on social media every single day. Have you ever thought about becoming an Avon representative? Well, now is the time to join Avon. For more information, find the link down in the description box below, or if you're ready to join right now, click that link below, fill in your personal information, and decide which option is best for you, and then complete your sign up. A little bit about me, again, my name is Jennifer Francis, and I was number one in the nation for personal leader development, and I lead the Timeless Beauties, one of the fastest growing teams in the entire nation. I am a top recruiter in the company and ranked in the top 100 for my digital sales, that's online marketing. In addition, I served on Avon's 2020 Beauty Board, where I helped provide feedback about new products and business decisions. Did you find this video helpful? Don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos for network marketers just like you every single week. And please share it with someone you know that it will help. Thank you so much for watching. Here are a couple of other videos you might like. See you next week.